we're now going to look at batch shipping. So batch shipping automatically shows shipped via platform and USPS standard shipping as the filtering options because that's what I have set under the options and template tabs. Now if I have urgent stuff I can filter. Right now I have nothing urgent. It's the weekend and they don't really send out these uh, urgent messages on the weekend. So I can filter by all these different things. Let's say I did pre-orders or shipping label unprinted. Let's see how many I've got to print today. 285. It is Sunday and I've got a lot to do today still. Um, it's a lot of work if you're successful so be prepared <laughs> because they're they're honestly like just heavily pushing TikTok shop content right now. Um, okay, we're going to unclick that. I'm going to show you how I filter. I have two products, two SKUs of a single product and I go here I'm going to show you the orders tab real quick. We're going to have a separate video for this, but under the manage orders tab, I can see at a glance, I have 288 awaiting shipment. Okay. And I have four awaiting collections. That means I have 288 labels I have not yet printed. Uh, okay. That's what that means. And I can go here and I can individually say arrange shipment. Now, if you don't see this arrange shipment, thing that's because your shipping options you probably have ship by seller set as preferred if you have ship via platform set as preferred then when you're under the manage orders tab you will see um, the option to print okay let's sort we gotta sort by awaiting shipment you can just, uh, yeah you can see arrange shipment and we'll show you how to individually buy orders on this tab in the next video. But right now, shipping, batch shipping. This is what I do first when I go into here. I sort by one item, one package. You can sort by any of these things. Um, but I'm going to choose one item, one package. I then select my SKU, DF001. That is my blue drain funnel. Now I have 112 single blue drain funnels. Why do I do this? Is because I can, since I only have a few products, I can pre-package all these drain funnels, single drain funnels, and keep them in a specific part of my office or warehouse. And that way, when I get orders, I just slap a label on. Okay, this is this allows me to do things a lot quicker. I'm not sure why the color of my screen just changed. Uh, that was weird. But anyway, you can see I have 112 orders that are all single aqua drain funnels. And you can see different people paid $15, some people paid $10.49. That is because different people see different discounts based on you know, how many times they bought something on TikTok shop. Okay, now I can select 50. This is filtered, also not filtered, but arranged by oldest first. So if I click that button, it selects those 50 orders. Uh, the max amount you can see in one page is 50 and I recommend you, you just use that um, and you can either say filter by or you can arrange for filtered packages to be printed I don't recommend you use this button because there is an error in the system where if that fails you basically don't have an easy way to reprint those failed labels whereas if you choose selected by uh, then you, if, a, if a label fails to print, you have an easy way to reprint the failed shipping label. Now here, you're going to avoid all that failure stuff by if you, just, if you just follow this advice. Let it load for like 5 seconds, 10 seconds, hit next. And I think this is the part. Once you hit confirm, give it a second. If you go right away and click something here before this screen loads, then you're going to end up with failed shipping labels because you didn't give the time enough, you didn't give the system enough time to process. Okay, now that we let it process for five seconds, you hit generate documents. You can print with packing slip and shipping label, which means you'll, it'll print a shipping label and it'll print a packing slip that says what is in that order. Or since I know these are all single blue drain funnels, I can just go ahead and hit print shipping label, avoid the packing slip because I know they're all, you know, blue singles. And then I just take all those labels 
and put them on my packages that I've already made. So this will create a new tab with, uh, well, it'll be 50 orders. And so I can say Command P, print those on my Rolo printer. I definitely recommend you get a thermal label printer if you're gonna, you know, if you're expecting a lot of orders. And uh, I'm gonna have to blur out this right here, but that's how you do it. So one, I'm gonna print that actually right now. And then I'm gonna show you the next screen. I know we've gone over the five minutes for this video, but that's okay. So I'm gonna close that tab. It says 50 succeeded and zero failed. If it says two failed, it will give you an option that says reprint failed packages. So you're gonna click that and then reprint those. Uh, but that will only happen if you don't let it fully load as you're printing those labels. Again, I would steer, steer away from, you know, picking the arrange for filtered packages because if a, if a label fails to print here, you're going to have a really tough time figuring out what didn't print because it, it will take the orders out of this uh, area and it'll act like you already printed them, but you won't be able to easily find out which ones didn't actually print. Okay, uh, I'm printing all the labels right now. Uh, in the next video, we will go over orders.